deserved because of the relationship that has existed. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> Why? You're making me happy because we're always... And it's turned out that in former Soviet republics, there were people, Russian people, numbering 25 million. They had been living in a single country, and all of a sudden, they turned out to be abroad. You can imagine how many problems arose. Russians turned out to be the largest divided nation in the world today. Is that not a problem? Well, not for you, but it's a problem for me. And what do you intend to do about it? What we want to do is use modern civilized processes to preserve, at least at a minimum, the common humanitarian space to make it so that these state borders do not get in the way, so that people can communicate freely among themselves, so that we can develop our economies jointly. We want to take advantage of those benefits of the former USSR that we've inherited. What are these benefits? Joint infrastructure, a unified railroad system, a unified highway system, a unified energy system. And finally, if I dare say it, the great Russian language which unites all former republics of the Soviet Union and which gives us evident competitive advantages when promoting various integration projects in the territory of the post-Soviet space. You've probably heard that we first established the Customs Union and then we've transformed it into the Eurasian Economic Union. So when people can communicate freely and move freely, when workforces, goods, services and capital move freely, there are no state lines when we have our common rules and legal regulation in the social sphere, for example. Then this is quite enough. People must feel free. But do you have to use and show military force? to accomplish that objective. No, of you course You have not. a military presence on the border of Ukraine, and some even saw, argue that there have been Russian troops in Ukraine. Well, you have a military presence in Europe. Yes. The tactical nuclear weapons of the United States are in Europe. Let's not forget that. 